There's a difference between restoration and progress. Sometimes you're making progress in life, but you can feel that you are behind. You are behind the eight ball. You shouldn't be where you are. I don't know if anybody feels like that. Let's assume these two men, they started the same primary school, the same nursery school. Hello? Right? They started when they were five together. They are very close friends. Hello? Okay? Now, take two steps slowly together. Take two steps slowly. Okay? They are moving together. Look at me. You are happy when you and your friends are on the same level. They go to primary school together. Take another step. Okay? Together. Right? They go to secondary school together. Right? Another step. Okay? They are still together. Right? This one maybe is number five in school. This one is number seven. It's okay. We're still all in the top ten. Am I painting a picture for you? Right? What then happens now? Okay? Form four. This one passes, but this one fails. God forbid. This one. So if you fail form four, what happens? You repeat. But this one is not going to stay and repeat with you. So he moves forward. One, two steps. Hello? And you know, sometimes maybe you don't want to repeat. You're frustrated. Hey, why me? So by the time this one is now in upper six, you are repeating form four. Hello? This way, take another step. This one is now at Rhodes University. This one is now in lower six. Hello? This one is a scholarship. Maybe they skip one or two grades there in university. Take three steps. Take three steps. One, two, three. Hello? And this one is behind. He stays there. And nothing makes you stay like frustration. Okay? But maybe he picks himself up. Both of you take two steps to get two steps. One, two. Okay? Now, watch this. He has now left school. He is now in university. Watch this. It is progress. This is progress. Things are moving again. Both of you take another step forward. He is making progress. But he has not been restored. What is restoration? Restoration is a system of advantage. Where God divinely picks you from the frustrating place where you are. Hello? And the time, it should have taken him time to catch up. But by this system of advantage, God holds his hand and he brings him to where he should have been. That is what you call restoration. So in my own mind, God spoke, oh, restoration. I mean, this is while we're still in lockdown. I want you to do a series on restoration. Ah, I took all the powerful uh, uh, declarations on restoration that I could find. I said, my job is easy. So I, I got, I, I, I prepared myself and said, ah, this time the devil is in trouble. I'm going to, hey, I'm going to prophesy restoration and I'm going to speak restoration. I'm going to declare restoration and God's people are going to be restored. The Holy Spirit said, stop. He said, this is the problem. The problem is you want the saints to be restored without restoring their relationship with me. The Lord said to me, there are people who used to be on fire for God. When you were in scripture union, you, you, you used to be able to pray in tongues. So you lost that, but you still expect to make progress at the same rate that you're making progress. The revelation of restoration is simple. Hashtag back to God. That fire for God that had died must come back. That fire for God that makes it hard for you to sin must come back. You need to go back to God and weep and cry and say, Lord, I have wronged you. 
dai moyo wa unawo we zvinhu uri wo moyo wa unawo wa mwari by now ngadai wa ne zvinhu the mystery is in returning to god god will not return things you lost if you don't return to god if you want to get back what you lost go back to where you left you have left the presence the church is focused on free things gifts when the church should actually be focused on rewards and rewards come for a reason because you have done something greatness comes because you have done something not because god did something listen if greatness was ba- based on what god does would all be great greatness is based on what you do that god says do whatever you are refusing to leave that god says leave is costing you restoration god will not restore until he is your shepherd psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd i shall not so if you don't want to stay in lack and want let god shepherd you now he can't shepherd you and not tell you what to do he makes me he makes me can god make you do things <laughs> he makes me to lie down can he make you pray He makes me means that God should have the ability to override some things in your life. He God makes me <laughs> to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Can God direct you? Your business when you started, you started with the 40 day prayer and fasting, seeking divine direction. You made 1 or 2 millions. Now you get your directions from Google from friends. Now things are not working. Lord restore me. No, go back to the 40 days. Go go zokerai koko. God fearing is what the body of Christ has lost. Zive achachikisa. What can God not make you do? What can God not make you stop? We have been deceiving ourselves that we can compromise here and there and still get everything God promised because God promised it as if God as if, you see we are acting like Maranech Kweret Chako God does not owe you anything because kana Maranech Kweret Chako whether you sin or you don't sin they are supposed to pay you so you are acting like God owes you have you made a covenant of holiness or you have just made a covenant of prosperity imposi po miko Zetu ndida kurarama upenyu wakarurama for one year. Just give God a year of holiness and see what God will do. Many young ladies, my wife tells them, I'm putting you on embargo. What that basically means is you're not going to be having a boyfriend for a year. Hey, ataka kuvaviwa. You know that I'm going to one year usnakurarwa. Hope that's it. What is she trying to do? She's trying to introduce a dimension of God that only comes when you are pure. Judges 16 verse 16. And it came to pass when she pestered him daily. Huh? She texted him daily. She sexted him daily. She sent him nude pictures daily so that he saw was vexed to death angada kurai wane ma text listen ukaona satan achi insist pa text wapinda muzone ya restoration the devil brings temptation so he can forfeit your restoration daily she pestered him he told her all his heart akabudisa ma secret yes and say to her No razor has come upon my head for I have been a Nazarite to God set apart from my mother's womb my secret is holiness but is lying on the lap of Delilah when you lose your hair you lose your power Samson's hair was a symbol of his anointing he had long hair because his hair had not been cut for a long time that's why he could remove the city gates You need this 
power on the marketplace so you can deal with the gate of the territory samson but the problem is my business me naka wanda haka gerwa na delilah saka kana wada kuita spiritual business wada kuita shift things in the realm of the spirit you have no power you are just like another man every other man anon zimira ipa gate when delilah saw that he had told her all his heart she sent and called for the lords of the philistines she's working for the enemy saying come upon him hello and come up once more for he has told me all his heart so the lords of the philistines came up to her and brought the money in her hand delilah is a judas next verse look at this she lured him to sleep on her knees as poor head massage and called for a man and said shave him off the seven locks number of completion on his head then she began to torment him and his strength left him his strength left him if you sleep your strength will leave if you sleep around your strength will leave then further on the bible says samson stood up against the philistines are upon you and he stood up listen to this and he thought he would do what he did at other times but he did not know that the anointing had left the anointing does not announce when it leaves do you know the thing that you have lost can i tell you the thing that you have lost it's called the holy spirit why continuously grieving the spirit eventually he will leave and the deception is you see this is not the first time that the philistines came upon samson huh? you are still hanging around delilah hey no the philistines are upon you about dealer now so god is giving you time to repent but you are getting deeper and deeper and deeper into your issue until you can't come out we're talking restoration but there can be no restoration without going back to god restoration starts with going back to god don't be a visitor in god's house remain in god's house i want you to go home and study the the, the book of luke chapter 15 verse 11 to 24 it talks here about the prodigal son the prodigal son what happened the prodigal son fell into the trap that many people fall into he thought he could leave the father and keep succeeding he said to his father give me what belongs to me the pay breakthrough yangu the father gave him the breakthrough and the bible says immediately he left and he went to a far country is it money that will make you go far from god lord the money that will move me away from you may i never have it ay 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 what a prayer the breakthrough that will make me leave god the kind of car that i would drive and curse god may i never drive it better to get my combi so the prodigal son he left the father and he lost everything if you leave you lose if you leave prayer you lose power if you lose purity you lose power if you lose the word you lose spiritual relevance there are many who have left giving they've now become spiritual accountants how can a calculator study when it comes to sacrifice you're not interested but it's what got you into the realm where you are now and anything to do with giving as a message now annoys you but it's the thing that got you there you can't get to the prom and change your date it won't end well you got somewhere with god he said in john 15 he said if you abide in me not if you visit if you abide in me and i in you stay with god stay with god he says you will ask anything and i'll give it to you why is it that your prayers are not being answered it is because you are asking you are, you are talking to god outside of the presence what happened to the relationship what happened to the consecration what happened to that life where you just choose to to say no to sin not because you don't want to 
but because you know what it will do to you. Joseph did not refuse Potiphar's wife because he didn't want to. He wanted to, but he says, how can I do this thing against God? He never said I didn't want. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you always do what you want, you won't like what you get. You won't like your destiny. Oh, you need spiritual discipline and say, hey, I have a prophecy hanging over my head. My prophecy is more important than these 20 minutes of pleasure. It's more important than a weekend getaway. Where are these messages on the old rugged cross? The messages on purity, the messages on consecration, where you say, God, let's put the breakthrough aside. The biggest breakthrough I can have right now is a breakthrough of getting back to God. It's a breakthrough where I'm saying, Lord, I need you. Lord, I want you. Lord, restoring my relationship with you is actually more important than you restoring the things and I know if I restore my relationship with you it's just a matter of a few weeks because you can restore time there's a system of advantage in the kingdom that I want to tap into so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell Delilah leave my head alone in the name of Jesus I have a big massive destiny because you will be listening to me Samson not only did they cut his head they plucked out his eyes he lost his vision you can lose a whole godly vision on the lap of Delilah telling your church I'm telling you we have cost ourselves precious things we have cost ourselves precious times yes God will forgive but you're already blind Samson was never the same. Thank you, Lord. Sin never leaves you the same. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Sin never leaves you the same. There is always collateral damage for your anger, Moses. Yes, you have an outburst of anger. Yes, God knows that you have anger. But could it be that it cost you the promised land? If you hear nothing else this morning, hear this. I'm going back to God. I'm going back to a heart of worship. I'm going back to my first love. That passion I had for God. Where I would seek Him in spirit and in truth. Where I would worship Him for hours. Where I would lose track of time in His presence. Not this thing of you are, you are in church, you are looking at your watch. The sermon is too long. Seek first the kingdom and His righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. If you want restoration, Tafata, this will bless you. 2 Kings chapter number 8 from verse 3 round about to verse number 6. If you want restoration, listen to this daughter. If you want restoration, the Shunammite woman, after all that having a son, a son died, a son was brought back to life. There was now a famine in the land. She left the land. Hello? She went to another far country. But when she came back, she had enough sense to know that before I get my restoration, restoration I must restore my relationship with the king first. She went and spoke to the king and the king restored her household, restored her farm, restored all that she had. Watch this. This is powerful. When you restore things with the king first, not only do you get your things back, but you get what you should have gotten those years. Read your Bible. She got the produce that was produced in that land. The time when she was not there. This is powerful. That's how powerful the king is. The king, not only has he got power to give you back the things that you lost, he has power to give you what you should have gotten. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. That the power of restoration, that transactions that I was supposed to do, and I was supposed to make money February last year, but because of COVID, Lord God, as I come back to you, you have power to restore that money. But when I do my restoration via restoring my relationship with the king first, not only do I get my things back, but I also get, got, 
get back what I was supposed to get. Oh, this is powerful. Oh, maybe I'm preaching to myself, but I need to restore my relationship with the king. I need to please the king again. Oh, I need to please the king. I want to go to the place where the king is excited about me, where I'm not frustrating God anymore. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. Help me, Holy Spirit. I want to get my restoration right. I don't just want to scream. I want things. I want to open my heart back to God first. Oh, Holy Spirit, I'm here. Like the prodigal son, he came back to his father and he was restored. A ring was put on his finger again. They changed his robes. Why? Because he went back to the father. The devil doesn't like what you're hearing. The devil hates what you are hearing. The devil despises me. Oh, pray for me. He despises me for preaching this kind of message. Now I know why my health was under attack. Because God was building this message in me. God was building this word. This destiny rescuing word. We want a church that goes back to holiness. A church that prioritizes purity. Oh, that's powerful. A church that prioritizes purity of a breakthroughs. That's the kind of church that God is looking for. He's saying I'm tired of your lukewarmness. I'm tired of your compromise. I want you absolutely back with me. And when you're back with God, no longer will you ask why are things not working? Because things will just begin to work. Doors will just begin to open as you are right with God. Things will shift. Oh Lord, may I not do what Solomon did. Exchange sacrificing on God's own to sacrificing her in foreign women ah Lord even as you regretted making him king like you regretted making Saul king may I not be a soul may I be a David may I be a David may I not be a Vashti Vashti never repented Vashti became proud and lost the throne she became proud and lost the kingdom may I not be a Vashti Lord may I not be a Vashti Lord may I I leave rebellion and plug into obedience. Ah, Mazato Bahaya. Lord, I'm coming back to a heart of worship. I'm coming back to a life of consecration. I'm coming back to a life of holiness. I'm coming back to a life of spending quality time with you. No longer will I water down my walk with you. No more. For Father, where I'm going and where others are going, there are two different destinations. I can't do what others do do. I am a Nazarite unto God. Oh, Father, give me a chance. The Bible says, and the hair of Samson began to grow again. Lord, let my hair begin to grow again. As I repent, cause my hair to grow again. Oh, Somebody, this message is hitting you like thunder. It's hitting you like lightning. It's a wake-up call from heaven. God wants to bless you. He wants you to fulfill your potential. But hashtag back to God, back to God, back to God, leaving the beer hall, back to God, leaving the pornography, back to God, leaving the drugs, back to God, I'm coming back to God, I'm coming back to God, leaving sexual perversion, back to God, leaving immorality, back to God, leaving pride, back to God living eating my tithe back to God living disobedience back to God living prayerlessness back to God I'm going back to God I'm going back to God living premarital sex I'm going back to God Lord I want to go back to you Lord I want to go back to you I'm coming back to God I'm coming back to God I'm living idolatry I'm coming back to God I'm leaving family idols. I'm coming back to God. Hashtag 
back to God. Lord, we are coming back to you. Lord, we are coming back to you. Lord, we are coming back to you. We are rededicating our lives back to God, back to Eden. I want to go back to God. I don't want to lose anymore. I'm tired of losing, oh God. I'm coming back to you. I'm coming back to commitment. I'm coming back. Restore the joy of my salvation. I'm coming back to you, oh Lord. Back to a life of fire. Back to a life of uh, humility. I'm coming back to God. Back to absolute obedience. Back to absolute commitment. Back to brokenness. Separation. Absolute holiness. I'm coming back to God. This message should just drive you to your knees because you know that you know you've been far away from God. Lord, I'm coming back to you. It doesn't matter what it costs me. It doesn't matter who it costs me. I'm coming back to God. Hashtag back to God. I'm coming back to God. My business back to God. My commitment back to God. My giving life back to God. I'm coming back to you, oh Lord. Oh Lord. I had replaced God with so many things, but I'm coming back to God. I began to prioritize breakthroughs over the God of the breakthroughs, but I'm coming back to God. Lord, I'm coming back to you. For if I stay in your house, I will flourish even in old age. Lord, I'm staying planted. I want to abide in you. As I abide in you, oh God, I know that God that is stored up, God that is stored up, will restore everything that I lost, everything that the canker women and the locusts have eaten. Oh Lord, I know you can replace it. Many prodigal sons are coming back to God. Many prodigal sons are coming back to God. Living a life of compromise. Living a life of wild parties. Living a life of rebellion. Living a life of compromise. I'm coming back to God. I'm coming back to God. Hashtag back to God. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. No more more provision, no more masturbation, no more sin, no more drugs, no more lesbianism, no more homosexuality. Back to God. Lord, nothing is more important than my relationship with you. I'm coming back to a heart of worship where I seek for you in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship him in spirit and in truth I want to be a Christian for real I want to be a Christian businessman for real I want to be a man of God for real I'm tired of being lukewarm I want to come back to you I don't want you to spit me out because of lukewarmness hashtag back to God I know you can restore in a few minutes but Lord Lord, even before you restore the things, I want to restore my relationship with you. It's more important than things. I love you more than things. I love you more than riches. I love you more than silver and gold or riches untold. I'm coming back to you. Lord, all these things, I know you can add them unto me, but I'm putting you first in my life. Forgive me, oh Lord. Create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit in me. I've had a wrong spirit for years. Renew a right spirit. Let my hair grow again. Let my hair grow again. Delilah had shaved my hair. Let my hair grow again. Let my hair grow again. Back to God. Back to God. Hashtag back to God. Back to the days of scripture union where we'd cry in the presence of God. God, for days on end who would cry out Lord I'm tired of losing so I'm coming back to God I want to restore the ark of the covenant I'm tired of being jealous of open Eden 
after he had gotten the presence, he prospered in a short space. Oh, I'm just going back to doing what I used to do. Oh, Kabaya, things I used to do, time I used to spend with you, the level of sacrifice I used to do. I'm going back to that level, the level of commitment. I'm going back to that level. And I know as I come back to God, you will remove the enemies. My enemies shall be as nothing. As I get back to God, witchcraft powers will die. As I get back to God, COVID is nothing. As I get back to God, in His presence, poverty is nothing. Delays are nothing. As I get back to God, I know everything will change. Hashtag back to God. I'm coming back to you, oh Lord. No matter what I have to do, I'm coming back to you. I'm committed, oh God. I'm coming back to you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. All the curses in my father's house, they will be as nothing as I get back to God. As I get back to God, the troubles in the land, they will be as nothing as I get back to you, oh Lord. I'm coming back. Lord, your son is back. Lord, your daughter is back. Lord, I'm back. I'm back on track. I lost my way, but I'm coming back to you. Thank you. You're the God of mercy. Your son of David, have mercy on me. I'm coming back to God. I'm coming back to God. Forgive me of all my sin. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse me, oh Lord. I'm coming back to you. Help me, oh Holy Spirit. I never want to lose you, Holy Spirit. May I never lose the Holy Spirit. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. David cried out in Psalm 51. Number. <laughs> wash me with hyssop I want to come back to you I'm back to be washed do not cast me away from your presence and please do not take the Holy Spirit from me Psalm 51 verse 11 cry out unto him the Holy Spirit was about to leave Ichabod was about to happen Lord I don't need to waste any more time I'm coming back to you I'm coming back to you I'm coming back to trusting you I'm coming back to fellowship with you. I'm coming back, oh Lord, as I get back to God. I know, oh Lord, all these things I desire, they are just additions. I'm coming back to God. I'm coming back to you. Genuine repentance is what I'm doing, oh Lord. I am yours, oh my Father, my God. From today, oh Lord, you will see a change. Church, this is a clarion call from the Lord. It's an opportunity for you to get back to God.